hello guys it's your boy wish bro welcome back to my youtube channel so today we'll be doing a review of the previous post we did and then answering some questions that we are being asked on that post then today i'll be showing you guys how we are able to color grade this image like we are able to convert this image if you look at these three images here the very first one this one is how it is from the camera this is how it is from camera this one is after color grading like after color grading with camera raw in photoshop then this is after the touching after the touching so like look at the three images here first one this is how it is from the camera this is how it is direct from camera like this then this one is how it looks like after color grading it with camera raw we use camera raw to convert image and color grade it before we start doing our retouching fusing skins and all that then this one is how it looks like after the whole color grade and everything the whole retouching and everything so and then we did our final color grade on it so this is it this from this from camera then we get to this then we get to this the final stage but before that we have to answer the question that we are being asked on the previous post that we did so we just head over to this post this is the post here so the question first question is someone asked can you put up the settings on this picture settings of the camera so the second question the other person say please can you share your exposure settings for this beautiful work okay still asking the same thing with the other person the other person asks okay please can you make video on how you edited this picture sure cool we are going to do that then how how did you edit this picture still the same question so this is the end of it so today um we'll be going to we'll be doing we'll be answering that questions that questions then at the same time we will be showing you guys how we converted this image how we moved from here to this place so firstly how we show that image is the camera i used is nikon d750 nikon the camera i used for this shoot is nikon d750 and then the lens i used is sigma at sigma at lens 85 mm 1.4 you get you see what the lens looks like you guess so there is something we call camera triangle this camera triangle comprises of iso speed and aperture so this very image that i showed you guys this very image now that you are seeing here the iso i use for this image is iso is 100 aperture is 1.4 an outdoor shoot so i wanted to get a high depth of field you get that is why i shot at this 1.4 then the shooter speed that i use is 1 over 1500 you get this is the basic settings that i used and then i shoot like on this 750 my profile setting or something is standard you get so that is the settings i use to achieve this image from here this is what it looks like we shot this image around 4 30 to 6 or something there about and we didn't spend we spent like 10 15 minutes to execute everything and then we left you guys the reason why we went to the location around that time was because we wanted to get the golden hour like the golden hour sun so that is why we went there that period so you can see it from here we just used two things like reflector and diffuser like i said before that's just the only thing and then the camera that's the only thing we used to shoot this image in photoshop we converted it to this then we moved it from camera raw to the photoshop itself then we edited it to this extent i guess so we're good 
so we just start let's start from the editing so firstly this is where the images is this where is the images so um, wait I where did I even where did I get this image? Okay, this is where the image this is the three images here. This is the edited one, the converted one, the cell phone camera. So this is it. So the first thing you move is just this is the raw image from camera. This is what it looks like from camera. Then we just drag it into Photoshop like this. Allow it to load. Once it loads, so the first thing we check is this is the image here. Yeah? The first thing we do is check the clarity of the image because if the image is very very clear, and if it's not clear, you just look for another one that is clear. Yes, because sometimes when i take pictures before i even send to clients to select i delete the ones that are not clear to avoid the client selecting the one that is blurry then telling you is there anything you cannot do is there something you can do about it me i, I used to like avoid the stress from the beginning yeah so i do come down to get clear images like as when i when doing a photo shoot i, I snap picture two or three times so that if one is in any way is blurry the other one must be sharp or if she close eye in one she gets open eye in the other one so that's why i take two or three shots before the clients and um, change their pose so this image is good to go for me so the first thing i do once i enter inside this photo camera or this is camera or here the first thing i do once i enter inside this camera or is i go to my adobe profile i change the profile I change my profile to camera matching i use camera matching then inside this camera matching i go to standard i shot this image in standard this is flat landscape portraits natural neutral sorry vivid and black and white and cool i guess but i saw this image on standard i guess you could go back this is adobe colors this adobe colors here this is adobe colors i guess but then you want to use camera matching so the first thing i do is i go to this camera matching i open it i look for the settings i use in my camera i use standard so i click standard then i'm good i go back i press back then if the next thing i do is the temperature the image is warm already so I do try to reduce the temperature. I do try to reduce the temperature to something like this. Yeah. Once I'm doing, I'm looking at my image. I guess I reduce the temperature. Then I increase my exposure. I increase my exposure to something reasonable. Yeah. Then I do increase my contrast. I increase my contrast. This is what it looks like when you take it down. So I increase it then i do take down my highlights so that the whites on the surface of the object will be reduced i do take down my highlights sometimes i do increase my um, shadows or i reduce it i rarely reduce instead of reducing it i just leave it the way it is most times yes then i take down my whites and then my black yes so this is what it looks like then at this point i increase my exposure a little bit more i guess this is i increase my exposure so then i come to this texture i don't talk texture i don't touch clarity i just did the haze i touch it a little bit so i increase it a little bit so that i increase it a little bit this thing that happened on this image was she was sweating so that's why in the whole thing I had to pull out. So I, I increase I increase the dehaze. Then vibrance, I reduce vibrance a little bit. Then I remove saturation. I don't like so much colors, right? I don't like so much colors lately. So after this, the next place the next place I go to is a more is it called? The next place I go to is 
um, Colomisa. I go to Colomisa. HSL. Um, everybody, if you're a photographer, you, you should get used to HSL. Fuel saturation and luminance. That's just the meaning of HSL. You get. So here, I just touch my. This is where you take you color grade, add some colors and remove from colors, something like that. So at this point, I just increase red a little bit. My orange. I do reduce the orange, but no, I just have to take it down a little bit. Then yellow. Um, I did take yellow down to something good. Not yellow. Take it down minus to something good. Then I did take green down because I don't like green. I don't like color greens to be out because I don't want distractions from the object. Actually, this image on its own, the blood, the depth of it itself removes uh, the distractions. Like it reduces the distraction. There is no distraction in this image because of the depth of field. But then again, you have to still do everything possible to get a seamless image. You get what I mean. So there is no blue there, nowhere. Okay, this car. Actually, yeah, the sky. The sky is actually reflecting on the top of bonnet of the car. Yeah. No way. Yeah. This guy have any effects? I don't think they do. So you just leave it. Magenta. Magenta is supposed to have effect because of the color of the clothes she's wearing. But I'm not working on the color of the clothes. My interest at this point is just on the skin tone. You get to get a fine skin tone. That's just it then from here i go to saturation once i come to saturation i take down my yellow a little bit you know this i take it down so that the distraction won't be there i take down my yellow i take it down then the orange orange i take down orange no, I don't take down orange, I leave it where it is. It's just yellow and green. Anything that will cause distraction, I try to reduce it, I guess. Because most times my emphasis is just on the skin. If it's a fashion shoot, then yeah, I'll be um, paying attention to the color of the clothes, to retain the color of the clothes or enhance it, something like that, I guess. But then here, yeah, nothing nothing about clothes or anything it's just the skin tone i'm working on so here i go to luminance mm. most times i don't even touch it most times i don't touch the i don't do anything at like this luminance but then whenever a color is too much i just come here and I do the um, highlights on it that's what i do then from here i don't touch this guy so i just go down to calibration so in this calibration in this calibration here i do first thing i do is i don't touch the tint no, i leave it the way it is double click just once you double click it if something is here you double click on it it will go back to where it is before you guess so i increase saturation a little bit here Treat this guy a little bit. You just be looking at what you are doing from your screen. If you are cool with it, fine. If you are not, then you keep adjusting until you get what you want. You get. So then I increase my saturation here to get colors on the skin. Yeah. So at this point, look at this is before, this is after. Just this small thing we did, you see the effect on this object. So, this is just it. Like, then from this, I just close this. I did go back to this guy again, this basic guy. Then, I did try to this tint take it down because I don't want some more magenta on the image here. Then, I will still take this guy down a little bit. I don't want it to be too warm. You get so sometimes this is just the basic thing I do, but then I still come back to this guy to check if there is something I need to take.
take up or take down again over time you get that's just what i do yeah so after doing this here like this thing now that i did now here yeah, you can actually save this setting so what i did is once i'm done with this i just save this setting once i save this setting when i import another image i just apply it on it so where do you save your settings this is where you save your settings save settings you can name it yeah save yeah name it and um, what should i name this youtube color grade yeah sorry youtube color Ooh. yeah so this is it i save it it's saved so when next you want to make use of this stuff that you just saved maybe you import another a picture or there are many pictures that you imported here you just go to this second one then go to your you go to your user presets yeah this is it youtube color grid this is the one i use sometimes the one i saved sometimes this is the one i just did now you see the difference so this is before this one is so much older. so this doesn't suit with this so this is this so once i come i apply this presets that i created here then mm, i just do some adjustments here then another thing i used to do is i don't just click open i hold my shift key and open these images as sub object or I, I do open it as objects so that i can be able to work on it again that is what i do so now it's imported inside photoshop you get it's imported inside photoshop so what we do here now is if there's any adjustment you need to do you need to make you guess if there's any adjustment you need to make like you just double click this guy again it take you back to camera row you guys that is why i opened it as a document you just do your adjustments and then do something you need to do until you feel like this is perfect this is what you want yeah so so at this point we move this here from here yeah from here to here so if you want these two guys and they don't really look so much alike there is something that so much color reduced from here they are not so much alike so i just go back and reduce increase my saturation in the bit then this is true that maybe i leave it at 250 yeah this is perfect this is it so this is this is it so we moved from here this is the very first image to this image here i guess so you can just watch this thing then drop your comments if there's you have any question you need to ask you guys you just ask your question in the comment section you guys so the next video will be dropping we'll be showing you guys how we move from here to here how we retouch to fix the eye uh, fix even this hair because we have to come down and fix this hair so the next video will be dropping we'll be showing you guys how we we are able to move from here to here so if you stayed if you watch to this level we appreciate you thank you for watching then just like and comment on this video ask your questions and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much